Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am in Memphis. Uh, Joe needs a copy of his birth certificate. So, we came to Memphis. Wow, it is windy. It feels good, but it looks like rain. Joe said, let's go to Memphis and you can record while you're in the car because I planned on recording today at the apartment, but then I thought, why don't I do that? Why don't I record in the car and maybe have that this video today and then I can still record again later for tomorrow uh, that would sound like a plan to me I really would love to have one or two days per week but at least one day per week where I could record like three or four videos I you know at least record them get them recorded um, you know maybe not edited all at once but then you know it would give me content for the week I just I just don't know how to do quick videos. <laughs> well, some of my videos can't be quick. Anyway, I'm already rambling. And I've never been to this part of Memphis, and it's it's really cool. Some really cool buildings, and uh, I like it. Uh, so yeah, he needs his birth certificate, and uh, because he is finally, finally going to get the title for the van that he has wanted since August, he bought a van and needed a bonded title. A lot of bullshit you gotta go through to get that. And then it got fucked up, mistakes made, all kinds of things. And he was able to drive for four of those months because of extensions, but no plates on his van. We were constantly getting stopped. They would not give anything, no temporary, nothing. You just get a bunch of information to give the police when they stop you. And, uh, yeah, so that was fun. <laughs> Always having to be stopped. And uh, then that time ran out, and it's just been a nightmare since. So once he gets the title, then he wants to change his license to uh, Mississippi now. And register it, insure it, all that stuff, and he will have his van so happy he is too and yeah and he doesn't know where his birth certificate is and surprisingly I had mine I don't know I must have got it at some point along the way but I needed my birth certificate and I thought Social Security card which um, got lost in the move but the birth certificate didn't and when I found that, I was like, I didn't even know I had one of these. But, so I was set. Uh, no, I had to get my Social Security card. Um, he said they told him just the birth certificate and his current license. So I don't know. Um, but he needs his birth, uh, his Social Security card, too. He had just gotten one and had a little wallet. And we have no clue where that wallet is. <laughs> so he needs another one. Uh, what else is going on? Anything? Yeah, so when I get home, I think I'm going to record something crafty for tomorrow, for tomorrow's video. This is Monday, March 25, 2024. Oh, so let me tell you what's going on in April. I went to see the Tina Turner tribute again. It was my second time, both times at Neil's. And both times I had a shitty ass table at the back. I asked for a front table this time and I said yes and I didn't get it but it was still a fun night um, I was with Joe both times and this time uh, I was with my friend Donna and her husband Jimmy it was the first time they get to see Derek play with the Tina Turner tribute which is Elevation Derek is in the band Elevation and his girlfriend is LaShawn who's in the band um, that's a kind of a long story he I uh, don't think they started actually going out together until after he was in the band uh, I don't remember when he started with them but they kind of like liked each other for a while and it took a little while for that to happen now it's happening and I'm very very happy very happy for them can I show you a picture of them that I took the Tina Turner thing I'm trying to think do I have a way that I can add it right here I must be able to, because I have it on Facebook. Okay, I'm going to show you. Derek and LaShawn. That's them, bass player. And she's a singer, and she's 
very, very good. Oh my God, she is just, uh, and she's so nice. I love her so much. So fingers crossed for them. So far, so good. And it's been, you know, a few months. I don't know exactly how long, three or four, maybe. They were going out together without telling anybody for a little bit because they were in the same band and they just didn't want it to be weird if it didn't work out or whatever and uh and i get that i get that so uh, but people started asking me are they a couple and i'm like no they're just friends because i didn't know he didn't even tell me until i said people are saying that it looks like you and lashawn are like you like each other and he just put his eyes down and smiled i was like you what you oh my god i can't believe you never told me so that was good okay so the tribute is going to be at Lafayette's in May. And if anybody is local, I want you to go. I prefer Lafayette's to Neil's. And in May, it's going to be hot. Neil's is famous for being so hot. <laughs> so hot in that place. The dance floor is awkward. It's not that big. And if you dance, you are blocking everybody's view. Uh, the stage is only like, I don't know, a step, one step up off the actual floor. Lafayette's is a little bit higher, and I don't care where you're sitting, you have a pretty good view of the band, even if the dance floor is packed. So, May 4, at Lafayette's, you cannot reserve a table yet, because it's not, that calendar is not open yet. And I'm going to let everybody know, because I would love it. I would love it if some of you who actually live in the area and would like to meet Derek and me and Joe and uh, my friends. That would be super cool. Meet the band, make sure you get to meet everybody. Well, at least LaShawn <laughs> and Melanie. There's two female singers and they're just so good. And for the Tina Turner tribute, it's, it's fun. Holy shit, Joe's here. It scared the shit out of me. Okay, I'll talk to you again at home. It is much later and I'm home now. It did rain it poured all the way home and it's still raining a little bit right now and I'm not going to uh, keep you guys much longer because let me see let me see uh, yeah it's almost an eight minute video so far <laughs> and I want to just finish editing because I'm anxious to go into my sewing room and do something I would like to maybe record something um, that I can have for tomorrow, so I'll, I'll be ahead of the game. But I really want to open some boxes of fabric that I got. I got 69 different uh, prints of batiks. I can't wait. They're like the typical batiks, but 69 prints. I have to think of a way to, um, you know, what we're going to do about cutting that. And, and Joe will be sorting and stacking. I did want to show you another picture of Derek and LaShawn. I'll have to look on her Facebook page for it. Hang on. That's them. <laughs> Do you remember these glasses? Have you been with me long enough to remember that I painted these on a video? Um, I, I'm assuming a long time ago. Let me look. Hang on. Oh my god. This was almost seven years ago, May 25, 2017, obviously bigger, um, younger looking. I don't know if my hair is short, really short, or if I just had it tied back. But I used to have a series called Can I Blank This Shit? And this one was Can I Paint This Shit? I had, I think, some others Can I Paint This Shit? Um, and it was these glasses. And I painted them seven years ago, and I still have these glasses. But they were too um, weak for me for a long time. And uh, so that's probably why they're not broken or lost. But now, um, you know, because I needed much stronger glasses. But now I can sometimes read my computer with no glasses at all uh, uh, because of carnivore it it helps your vision and so uh fuck carrots they're not gonna do anything for your vision <laughs> tons of beef and butter will 
Um, at least that's what a lot of carnivores experience, and I have experienced it. So, yeah, they 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 make him a tiny a tiny bit. I don't know. I think I almost see better without the glasses tonight. It varies. Uh, you can go watch that video. I have no clue, no clue what I said or did, but I will link to it in the description of this video, and I don't know, maybe I'll put it on the end screen too. The title is, Can I Paint This Shit? I Funkified My Reading Glasses with Acrylic Paint. So if you look that up on YouTube, I can promise you there's only one video with that title. All right, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign off now. Um, I don't know if there was anything else that I wanted to tell you, but I just wanted to do a little bit of a video in the car, and I got that accomplished. And I'm very anxious to go into my sewing room. And it's already you know, 6... 15 so the night is going by fast um thank you so much for watching huh i, I appreciate it <laughs> i have no makeup on and my hair is a mess i actually like layered it a little bit last night and now it's like all just flat and i don't know i want to cut my hair joe does not want me to he wants me to continue letting it grow but it's like a bush it's a hot mess um i guess that's it right we're going to uh, just say bye now, and you didn't get to see much of Rocket. Did you see him at all? Only in the thumbnail. I'm sorry. I didn't even have a chance to show you Rocket, but the thumbnail has him. <laughs> all right, you guys, I don't know what else to say. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye, and I'll remind you of the Tina Turner thingy, because I want somebody, I want a complete stranger to walk in and say hi to me. Bye.